I was encouraged recently by a friend to share more uh, of our daily routine out here on the farm uh, and just share uh, an encouraging word <clears throat> uh, for what is going on during our time right now. This can be done virtually, um, which, which in a lot of ways fits with where we're at uh, as a culture. Uh, and so I'd like to talk from the, the book of uh, Daniel, chapter 6, uh, is, is the word. And uh, just reading through that this morning as uh, a family, of course, it's a story that we all know. Uh, Daniel uh, is thrown into the lion's den after King Darius is uh, kind of tricked into doing so by some of his uh, other government officials. And... Um, Anyway, that's that's where Daniel ends up, and we know the outcome of the story. You know, it's very very safe. Uh, you know, to read on this side of it, we know what's going to happen. You know, obviously uh, God delivers him. We know that, but I just a couple couple points to hit on. Uh, I, I I think that it's interesting that Daniel is not uh, delivered uh, from going into the den. Uh, God still allows him to be thrown down there, um, and he spends, I believe, it says an entire day down there. Um, but the main, the main thing that stood out to me is, uh, you know, not only is Daniel delivered from the lions, <clears throat> but Daniel's enemies are then destroyed by the very thing that they put in place to destroy Daniel. And so God uses the schemes and the, and the evil things of the enemy to, to bring him down, to destroy him. Uh, the officials that uh, tried to, to kill Daniel by, by uh, tricking the king into to putting him in the den, uh, it says that their bones, not only their bones, their wives, their children, every all of them were thrown into the den and they were crushed. Their bones were crushed, it says, before they even hit the floor. <clears throat> we see this throughout scripture. We see it with uh, the book of Esther, story of Esther. The gallows that uh, more, uh, Haman makes for Mordecai, right? Haman ends up, not only is Mordecai delivered, Haman ends up on those same gallows that he built for Mordecai. And so we not only see God deliver, but we see him destroying the enemy through his own schemes, his own plans. And so just be encouraged today. Be encouraged if you're in a tough spot. Uh, Hang with it, you know? I mean, we get to see Daniel on this, the, the story of Daniel on this side of it, right? We, we get to see, uh, obviously we know how it turns out, but imagine what it was like for the 24 hours that he's down there. Um, so be encouraged, uh, keep the faith, take care.